We are back now with more of our coverage on the death of Robin Williams. His battle specifically with severe depression and his apparent suicide. The national numbers show there is a suicide once every 13 minutes in this country. Over 39,000 people a year. That's more than the number killed in car accidents. We get more on this tonight from our chief medical editor, Dr. Nancy Snyderman. They have long waiting lists. You can always call us back. The sudden death of Robin Williams has ignited a national conversation about depression, substance abuse, and suicide. At least our calls up today. They are up today for a variety of reasons. And at one of the nation's busiest suicide prevention hotlines, someone is always going to be here. To calls have been nonstop all morning. If you hear someone say the word, is that a, a sign to take it seriously? Absolutely. Anytime someone is directly mentioning thoughts about suicide or wishing they were dead or uh, wanting to not be here tomorrow or thinking about killing themselves, we want to take that seriously. Hey! <laughs> is that the door? The manic brilliance that marked Robin Williams' distinguished career was countered by a darkness that friends say he struggled with for years. Fellow comedian and actor Chevy Chase wrote, Robin and I were great friends, suffering from the same little-known disease, depression. For someone in crisis, connecting with a human voice at a call center like this can sometimes make the difference between life and death. They have psychiatrists. These therapists are trained to listen and to separate a case of the everyday blues from clinical depression. The difference? The frequency and duration of the feelings. Any symptoms lasting more than two weeks, occupying most of the day, or occurring nearly every day must be considered serious. It's very important that we stop seeing these illnesses as faults and blame and see them what they are, which is medical conditions, genetic conditions, brain disorders, which require appropriate diagnosis, treatment, care, and support. This death puts Robin Williams squarely in the group most at risk for committing suicide, middle-aged men. It's pretty easy to look at someone and say, what could be so wrong? You're rich. You're famous. You never really know what's going on inside of someone until you ask. Having lots of wealth and fame does not necessarily mean you don't have your own sadness. And that profound sadness can lead to self lead to self medication with drugs and alcohol. Something Robin Williams freely admitted to. So everybody should know there are safe places to turn for help if you have concerns about suicide. You can call this national number, 1-800-273-TALK. We'll also have other resources on NBCNews.com. Very important for people to know, Brian. So important to talk about after such an important loss. Okay. Nancy, thank you. Okay. And we're back with more of the day's news right after this.